the first thing we want to do is we want to go to check for updates. Then you want to go to advanced options. And here you want to enable insider previews. And I've already done this. And what you need to do is you need to take this bar and it might to start with be here which means you'll get new features, but only the most stable. You want this to be as, as fast as possible, which means you'll get the newest features, but they, they might be unstable. They might cause you problems. And then go back here and go check for updates. However, before checking for updates, you want to give it like a day because immediately after enabling insider previews, Microsoft is going to, it's going to take a while before it pushes those updates for you. So you'll have to do this a bit after. All right, so this is after a couple days. Now I'm just going to check to see if there's any new updates. So the version of the Windows 10 Insider Preview that includes the Linux subsystem is version 14.3.1.6. And you can see this is 14.3.3.2. So we're ahead of that version. So we should have installed it by now. All right, so we finished our installation. I'm just going to go ahead and restart now. So after doing that, you can already see there's going to be some differences. I think this has been rearranged. There's now a Surface Pen thing or an ink workspace, so that's a new feature. Let's go back to check for updates. But where we wanna go is to for developers, and then we wanna click developer mode. And it'll ask you if you're, you're sure you wanna do it because it adds security risks, but we are. Now that we've enabled developer mode, go to turn Windows features on or off. Then scroll to the bottom, and then there's this Windows subsystem for Linux. Right now it says beta. That won't be the case in the future. And we want to check that and press OK. And then I'll say we need to restart the computer in order to enable them. So we're going to do that once again. All right, after rebooting the computer, now we can actually start to have fun. So go to command prompt and then write bash. And I'll say this will install Ubuntu on Windows. Type Y to continue. Installation successful. Please enter a Unix username. I'm going to go with CR Clayton. Now, if you go to start, you'll see this bash on Ubuntu on Windows. And let's just pin that to start. And I'm also going to pin it to the taskbar if I can. And let's close this. And then you can open it up from here. And notice you'll be kind of deep in the Linux subsystem. So in order to get to, let's say, your Windows documents, which is where I want to be right now. You'll want to go CD up and then you'll be in home and then you'll want to go CD up again. And then you'll be, uh, you'll be able to see all of the generic Linux folders. And what we want to go into is MNT mount. So go CD MNT and let's look at what's in there. And then there's C, which is obviously the C drive. And then we can go LS even more. And this should be starting to get familiar for Win Windows users. So let's go into users, have a look. Um, we're going to go into my account, ls. Um, and let's go into cd OneDrive, documents. That's where I store most of my things. And here we are.